A community Zoom meeting we have to Zoom. interrupted several times by anonymous people using racist language aimed at Montgomery County Council member Will Jawando. Looks like you guys got some hackers here. Jawando is a leader in the push for criminal justice reform. He was discussing police accountability and transparency when it happened. He describes his initial reaction. I think part of it is just I was just kind of used to it. You know, it's not a new thing, unfortunately, and I was just like, all right, let me let it stop, and then I'll start talking again. The Zoom was a council candidate forum held by Progressive Legacy, a group of county residents who promote progressive policies and candidates. The group was eventually able to remove the online interrupters, but not before one of them used a racial slur dozens of times in the chat box. Council member, are you still here? We apologize for that. Jawando says he's been heartened by the support he's received and was glad his three-year-old son had just left the room. If we want that goal that I talked about, that multi-racial, intergenerational uh, community where we all have a chance to thrive, we have to call out this type of hate and division because we can't get that goal if we allow this. The county council issued a statement condemning the comments. At a briefing Thursday, County Executive Mark Elrich called it embarrassing and disgusting. The people making these attacks ought to put their names on them. If they're so proud of what they're doing and so proud of what they think, own it. The meeting went on and many noting it happened during Black History Month. The lesson here for me and I hope for others is that we got to call this out uh, and, and never let it allow it to be acceptable in the public square or privately and uh, you know, try to do, move forward together. The group that sponsored the forum apologized to Jawando and those who were in the meeting. They say something like this has never happened before and they're working to make sure it doesn't happen again. In Montgomery County, Darcy Spencer, News 4.